There were tense moments on Friday when tears ran down Chief Musa Irwa's cheeks and he rubbed them off using his hands as his attempted rapy trial against a girl, 14, entered its second day on Friday. Chief Musa Irwa born Ennis Masakwa, continuously shook his head as he sat in the dock and broke down as a young brother to the complainant, a little boy gave evidence in court. The case was postponed to January 31, 2022. The boy said he saw the chief's official vehicle parked at a secluded place near his parents' home on the day that his sister was nearly raped by the traditional leader. The marathon trial, also attended by the Mirror, ran from 9 a.m. to around 4 p.m. None of the court officials, including the provincial magistrate Batanaymad Zanjira, raised any issue with the incident, but it became the talking point after adjournment as people hotly debated the incident. Chief Musa Irwa is facing two cases of attempted rapi after he allegedly F0 and led the complainants Brea STS and private parts. The first case allegedly happened inside the chief's car and the other in his rural home. Chief Musarer was lawyer Norman Mugia, pointed out during cross-examination of the complainant and her witnesses that the complainant's evidence varied and was inconsistent. He said that the statement given to the police was different from the one given to the probation officer Darlington Chigwish and the court respectively. Chigwish, however, said that such was normal with children, and in particular when they give evidence in the presence of the accused as happened in the Friday trial. He said intimidation and fear can see children changing their statements. The complainant's father told the court that Chief Musarua gave him US $10 as an apology for F0 and bling his daughter. That evidence was dismissed by the court. Chief Musarer was secretary also gave their evidence in court. The state was represented by prosecutor Corins Chimbadzwa. It took a long time for the chief to be brought to court after the case was reported.